Hi everyone! Today I wanted to do an empties video. I have collected quite a few things that I finished and really enjoyed, so I wanted to share it with you. Um, so let's get started. The first one is lotions, and I've just finished Moonlight Path and Cherry Blossom from Bath & Body Works. Moonlight Path and Cherry Blossoms are two of my favorite scents. I'm just basically trying to finish all of my Bath & Body Works lotion because they have parabens, and I'm trying to not use products with parabens if I can help it. Um, so, yeah, but these smell really good. The next products are hand soaps. If there's one luxury that I just really enjoy, it's hand soaps. So I invest in Bath & Body Works hand soaps. Um, I think, at least for me, these are expensive. I think they retail for like 6 or $7. Um, I'm not really sure, but I don't buy them unless they're like 2 or $3 each. And that is still expensive for hand soap. Um, but I go and buy these because I like them. Um, I did a Bath & Body Works haul that I will leave in the description below. So you see what I've recently purchased. Um, I'm just really excited about it. But I finished Apple Blossoms, Aloha Orchid, and this one is the Japanese Cherry Blossom. Aloha Orchid is my favorite scent so far. It smells amazing. It's like very tropical um, smell and... I guess since it's Aloha, it may remind people of Hawaii, um, but I definitely would recommend this scent. I also have two affordable um, alternatives for hand soaps, and these are Dial. I like the Aloe and Cherry Blossom and Almond. This is my favorite, of course, it's Cherry Blossom. Um, unfortunately, this has the Sodium Loreth Sulfate um, ingredient in it. If you know why that is bad, can you please leave it in the comments below? Because I have a few products that has that and I don't really know why. I, I've tried to um, research it. I still don't understand why it's possibly harmful to um, your body. So please let me know, educate me, whatever. But I like the sense of these and they're also moisturizing. The next one is something that everyone needs and it is deodorant or antiperspirant. Um, this is just the mini one from Dove. I started um, using the full size one and um, I actually don't like the way it applies. It leaves residue and everything. I've never had that issue before. So I may or may not return it depending on my mood and get something that's invisible. Um, it doesn't say that this one is invisible. The one I got just says clear tone. I'm not really sure what that means but um, I prefer it invisible. I don't want any you know white stuff in there the next one might be a little bit of a TMI but I think it's important to use something gentle instead of soap and I'm talking about feminine washes <laughs> um, I have a, a few of these I basically have just the generic this is Equate another Equate and a Target brand um, yeah I think these are awesome I don't really know what else to say um, yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you use this. The next products are body washes or shower gels. I love the Suave body washes, especially the creamy ones. I finished Sweet Pea and Violet and Wild Cherry Blossom. And then the Creamy Almond and Verbena. This is my favorite scent. Um, I'm not exactly sure what Almond and Verbena are supposed to smell like, but this smells amazing. Um, and it's also moisturizing, especially because it's creamy, um, and I love it. So definitely check this out. Unfortunately, it also has the sodium loreth sulfate in it. Again, please let me know why it's bad, um, but I love these. I've also finished the Japanese Cherry Blossom Shower Gel. And again, in my opinion, these are expensive, so I only get them on sale. And then the Japanese Cherry Blossom Shower Gel from Body Shop. I did a haul um, that this was in and unfortunately this did not smell anything like Japanese cherry blossom it just I was a little bit disappointed because I was hoping you know this is very nice um, and I was hoping body shop would you know at least kind of be as nice as Bath and Body Works or even better 
um, but maybe because it's old I got it from Marshalls and then I went to body shop and let them know your Japanese cherry blossom don't really smell like Japanese cherry blossom um, and they said that probably because it's a bit old because all of their old products go to Marshalls um, and I don't I don't know I guess maybe shower gel smells change when they get old um, that's not good <laughs> but I really enjoyed this one the last products are shampoo and conditioner my favorite is organics this is the cherry blossom ginseng shampoo and it's the rejuvenating kind um, is it just me or do you also um, always finish your shampoos first before your conditioner I always end up with like a lot of conditioner and no shampoo to go with it um, but I really like this it smells amazing it feels amazing in your hands and in your hair um, so definitely recommend this it's organic natural sulfate free and all that good stuff and then I also enjoyed Suave Professionals this is the macadamia oil and white orchid um, I don't know if you remember if you're a 90s baby um, Hilary Duff came out with a fragrance line that included a lotion in it I had the fragrance and the lotion and it smells amazing it's one of my favorite scents back then and this smells just like it um, and so I really enjoyed this unfortunately once I started using this I saw a big difference in quality this one no matter how hard I try to wash my hair as you know as well as I could um, it always leaves some kind of residue in my hair it leaves me dandruff and stuff like that and I don't like that um, so these are not completely empty like this conditioner is not even completely empty but I just I can't use it anymore I don't I don't like to have to you know worry about white stuff in my hair after I take a shower um, and I'm just in love with organic so definitely recommend this I don't recommend this but if you want to give it a try go for it especially if you're on a budget this is really affordable so that is all of my empties products if you like this video of course give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe let me know in the comments what kind of body care you've been loving lately and I'll see you next week bye Um, but I'm just basically trying to finish all of my Bath & Body Works products because, um, no. But I still don't understand why it's, it's possibly, you know. The next one... Gosh, the lighting.